everyone. Well, I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brown, which comes in the Night Crimson box of the Rose Gold Writing, and a tube very similar to the Legendary Lashes, with a little pin on it. There. The difference between this eyebrow gel and and other eyebrow gels I've tried is that they all tend to have fibres in. This one is non-fibrous. It's a conditioning, grooming gel. And it's lovely. It's got um, good properties in it. It's got, it's got castor oil, which is great for growth. I mean, if you put castor oil, uh, hold pressed castor oil, on your eyelashes or eyebrows, you will see hair growth. So this is promoting hair growth. It's got vitamin E, and it's got other things which are really good and conditioning for your eyebrows before you start. So, as a grooming gel, it's lovely. It does a really good job. Now this comes in three colours, and it comes in a clear gel. It comes in a clear gel. Now this is good for someone who doesn't want any pigment, but just wants to have them groomed, but it's good for a man. Now this does have pigment in it, natural pigments. So it comes in three colours. You've got Bridget, or oh, Bridget Pardo presumably, and that is for light blonde and reddish coloured hair tones, strawberry blondes. Then you have Linda, which is the colour I've gone for because I like I like quite a dark brow. Um, although I'm fair skinned and blonde, ash blonde slash grey, um, I do like a dark eyebrow. So I've gone for Linda, the medium colour. But these are very forgiving. I mean, if you put them on and you pile loads on, you're not going to get that harsh colour look. You're going to get a nice, soft, natural groomed look. And then after Linda, you have Cara Delevingne. So that's a really thick dark, the blackest colour. But there again, it's a soft black. It's not um, a nasty overpowering like a pencil black, you know. The thing is with these, they don't look like pencils, and they don't look like the really sort of hard wax that dries sort of to solidness. It's a very soft look. So I'll sh I've got pencil on my eyebrows at the moment. I've got <coughs> lighting. I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Brow Lift in Grace K, Grace Kelly, and that is her fairest one. But I've also got in it, I've used um, uh, Ronald Gray, because I don't like any red showing through. I mean, my eyebrows always show red, doesn't matter what I put on them. So I put the grey through it as well. And so that's um, like a basis. So now I'm going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow in Linda. Second shade. And this is the brush. This is the tiny, tiny brush. Okay. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows in Linda. Just the weenest thing I've ever seen. Right. It's a very, very small brush, very spiral round bristles and it seems to have captured a good amount of product so let's see they say to brush them up first to I have any cutting to see um just what's going on. I do a cutting library. It's depositing a good amount of product. Not too much. Then you cut in. <laughs> and then when you get to the end, go to the end part and drag down like you would to get the tail. And um, you want to fill in any bits. Very good. Yeah. 
it's capturing all the little tiny ones, the ones I can't even see. So it's making a good job. And it's had a combing one as well, because of the tiny bristles. Yeah, they need a trim, which I didn't realise before, but this is this is sort of captured them, brought them up, so I can see them. I definitely need trimming. I would say that one's looking more groomed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this eyebrow off, so you can see how blonde I am, and I'm going to show you how much you'll actually see with just this on the eyebrow with its um, natural pigment thing. So I have blonde eyebrows, so I'll take this off and come back. Okay, so I've taken the um, product off my eyebrow which you barely see, it's blonde, it's not sparse, it's there, but it's just really, really fair, really blonde. Okay, so now we're going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Linda on a completely clean brow that's very blonde. See what happens, see if it's going to be enough to use on its own, for me anyway. So you brush it up first. Oh yeah. It's so red. That's because I rubbed it it with a, a wet wipe. I should have taken it off properly with eye makeup and movie, you know. I love the dainty little brush. <laughs> this has elasticizing wax in, which lifts and holds. And it doesn't draw sticky. You know, it doesn't dry really hard or anything. It leaves the eyebrows soft to the touch. Turn it that way to get the end. This would be enough for me in the daytime. You know, just normal daytime going out the beach or whatever. I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to put another coat on in a minute. So that's it. Just a very light coating but enough. Enough to go out with and very sculpting and <laughs> I don't match and yes that's fine. That'll be fine for the daytime because I don't like to wear heavy makeup in the daytime. Not to go out. Well, not just normal going out there. So that's what it's like. Do you know I could have even gone for the darker colour? I might get the, the car uh, jelly bean one and then I can mix together. So that's it. It's um got the elasticizing wax. It sculpts, it shapes. It gives architecture to the face, eyes are the windows of the soul, and your eyebrows frame those windows, so keep them beautiful, hey? And yes, I like it. I think it's a very good price, because the little one I bought, which is a fibrous one, one that had fibre and was eighteen pounds, and this is beautiful casing. I mean, the actual presentation of Charlotte Tilbury products is beautiful. So yes, I love it. So well, that's it, Charlotte Tilbury, Legendary Brows. Another winner. Bye YouTube.